Hey everybody, Casey Johnston here, back with another excerpt for the upcoming episode on Storytell Podcast. This time, I get to play in a very well-established universe. I get to be both fanboy and narrator. <laughs> um, once again, rather. Uh, Jazz City Blues, a Quincy Harker history short story by John G. Hartness. John, thank you so much for letting me play in this playground and uh, letting me voice some of uh, Quincy Harker. It's a really exciting thing for me. I don't make any claims, anyone. Those that are super fans of the audiobooks like I am, I'm not James Foster. James Foster <laughs> is the voice of Quincy Harker. But John, thank you for letting me play in this playground. And I'll have links for the actual audiobooks, the full length audiobooks for uh, I think year one and year two are out, and year three is around the corner. I'll have some updates on some things from John. John's having a huge July as far as launches and releases. I hope I've kept up with all of them. I will have very shortly a post with all of that up to date on it. We got a zombie problem, Madison said, taking a bite of beignet without getting powdered sugar all over her face. After all these decades, I've met two people who can manage that feat. One of them is my Uncle Luke, who also happens to be the most famous vampire in history. The other is Madison. I'm not sure which one of them is more unnatural, Dracula or the voodoo priestess, who eats beignets without making a mess. We've always had our fair share of the walking dead, but most of them are raised for a purpose, and the priests tend to put them back where they found them when they're done. Or else, I muttered, well, I've been forced to give a little persuasion from time to time, Madison agreed. But this infestation seems to be coming from a new player. Someone not interested in playing by the rules. That's pretty rare, isn't it? How long has it been since a new player came to town? Sister Evangeline was the last. And that's been no small number of years. And I think I was the newcomer before her. So that takes us back more years than I care to reveal. And Evie's been here for 20 years at least, I said. Are they voodoo or necromantic zombies? Madison laughed, a rich, honey-coated sound that wrapped around me and warmed me rather than made me feel ridiculed. Oh, child, I know you are old, but sometimes you sound like such a baby. Voodoo is necromancy. Your spells and Latin and circles are just a different way to focus the power. It's all the same thing. But to answer the real question, which is if I have any idea who's raising the dead, I have no idea. You're really not going to want to miss this episode. This story is a fantastic story. Very rarely do I have multiple lines inside of literally like 20 or 30 pages that I laugh so hard out loud that I have to exit the booth, reset, and then get back into it. John does just a, an incredible job. He really captures New Orleans in a very clean way. If you're familiar with the, with the town at all, in a, <laughs> well, clean way for Bourbon Street. Uh, but he does a really just a fantastic job of making sure everything is accurate for, you know, zombies and necromancy and witchcraft and things like that. Whatever, whatever you want to call it, accurate about that. Uh, don't miss this. Make sure you check it out. We have a target date for 731, so July 31st, last day of this month. That's going to be on this Tuesday, 2018. Make sure you check it out. Make sure you go and check the previous episodes out. Make sure you go check the previous links out for the authors. Check out John G. Hartness, all of his stuff. Check out Falstaff Books, which is his publication. They are doing some really cool things there as well. And as always, I'm Casey Johnston. Thank you so much for lending me your ears. And I'll read to you next time.